The remaining four players are completely isolated. You can see a blast pack going in to try and clear some of the closer angles, but realistically, getting back in on that choke is going to be very difficult. Yeah, Boaster up on top is not going to last all too long. And this one and Fnatic, they quickly crumble. Okay. G2, all the kills roll in their way. Durka wants to go out of that smoke. They could be defusing, but they're content to just leave it because the snake bites in play. But now the 1v1 develops. Durka spotted inside of Hookah. He wants to swing on this. He spotted the player isn't defusing. Now the tap comes in, but Durka's already out wide this squad in fact if he picks off maybe boaster doma that's some of the utility gone especially for those after plants even better i guess if he takes down mystic and then there's no more viper utility Barry. he can already see some of it being lined up first and we'll go and wait seekers even pop just to give the rest of his teammates and he's just taken over this round already coming up with two kills a vulva alongside to clean things up and now durka he needs a miracle but this is exactly what this man can pull out a third kill already in this round a rifle to be them down a little bit more he's already gonna get that 1v1 cold amenta maybe taking a little bit of vector you want to be holding the close range angles in through the tp they go and mix while actually oh no. gets caught off guard the viper now down but cold amenta quick to pull it back manages to avoid the aftershock and now he's just tucked inside a thorn in the side if you want to move into hookah kellogg's good for one to flash out but hookah's already been obtained and he almost gets dropped because of it magnum and mystic make sure it happens in the end now the site is theirs the plant can come in but the orbital strike still online could be massive and here it comes all down from the sky as mystic swings to try and deal with the vulva he can't get it done and there's barely any time to get a plant magnum has to get it quickly and with that kill taking too long and indeed not even going his way though as the defenders have this is a heavy stack from g2 because they want to get that res online but here's the orbital strike not actually in on time to get the kill so they've gotten away with the res now trading into a 4v4 and somehow nukia doesn't manage to hit that it looked like it was dead on to me they're going back though there's no one on the b side so this is just going to have to be a full retake from g2 the quick rotation available to Fnatic in the scenario is going to set them up almost perfectly. And a lot of the utility has already been used. Now we see the Viper's Pit thrown out, something you mentioned earlier, which is just going to give Mystic these perfect after plant positions. And I said it yesterday when we were on Ascent, I feel like once this Viper's Pit goes down, it's just so hard to get him out of these positions. Yeah, controlling the elbow, it's it's hard for you to even sneak behind him because it's such a choke point of an angle. Durka is even the one holding up close, and having a different player hold it is just so valuable because even if he dies, Viper's Pit doesn't fall down. Doma cl just closes that out inside of Hook, and Nukia has to save. A 1v3 up against Viper's Pit, up against the, the utility of Shock Darts, Mollies, and Snake Bites that's still online. And they're already starting to set up some of that utility. In fact, this time, we've actually witnessed Mystic use some of those Snake bites a little bit more aggressively they're not setting up for the after plants they're trying to hold on to the control the timing couldn't have been better for nuki though he's gonna find one on the entry kellogg's alongside him and it puts it into this two versus three scenario but they need to find these remaining couple of players one goes down but it's only the trades and another round comes on to the way their intention of which side they want to move towards and mixwell oh he is in trouble there goes the snake bite though that's going to buy him a lot of time in fact it's going to guarantee that they can't push him down but he can't get out of there either as he a eventually goes to cross and Doma shuts him out then waits for the TP and manages to take Kalox down four versus two in a matter of seconds the control has flipped heavily into Fnatic's hands and they still haven't committed to a site they have the ability to go back and in fact it's going to only be one player defending each of these G2 very split right now and Cole Dementa in trouble it's oh my god that stun oh, right no. onto him the flash doesn't oh, catch him he's tricked. reset oh, oh they're not even going to clear him properly what? and they almost end up losing more than just one player Evolva snuck onto the side too they might think he's on A the flash is there but they still don't know that he's in position this could be huge from Evova. The timing seems to have caught them off guard, but there they go. They get the good timing. They spot him on the backside, and now uh, it doesn't seem like he's going to get a lot done. I need some sort of miracle to bring this one home now, especially with the positioning of the remaining players. You can see a bit of a fallback. He's trying to bait them in to peak. You can see Doma, I was going to say jump spotting, but he actually just goes for a full-on peak in the system on the attack, and they still won that game with just phenomenal retake. So th there's no get-out-of-jail-free card. The only team that has ever beaten this roster on this map is Sentinels. So 
realistically, we want to see some sort of response from G2 now. Otherwise, we might as well start looking at Haven. Oh, big words from Tom. You talking now, or are we talking the next round? Because, I mean, they've got sheriffs. There's a stinger. This right. half. This we, half. Next we, three rounds. I want, can we I give want it a award? Can we get an award to Evova, get a trophy? The first man to actually buy a stinger in BCT, oh, I think. And he God. has not had a good time with it. Rolling, thundered, orbital strike, and shot by Mystic. But Nukie, he's creeping up behind. There's very little time left. Ten seconds on the clock. Nukie actually manages to stop that spike line. Get some kills. And G2, they're way back ahead. The spike's on the floor, and it's done. They actually won it with the pistols. Rollers are actually on the Fnatic side. I think they'll be okay. Oh, Nukie. Oh, Nukie's up close. But he's getting shut down. The showstopper right now out of the round completely. Kellogg's flashed up and dealt with. And this A defense yet again seems to be just crumbling. The final remaining defender being Avova, who's now smoked off, considering the peak around. And there's the Viper's hit. That's going to allow him to spray pretty much for free with his Phantom. He gets the one, but then shut down right after. Mixwell through the smoke, trades it back. And this is winnable yet again. Hunter's Fury online for Fnatic. That's going to help them in the post plans. They need to be very, very careful. Actually, look at the HP on these G2 players. They, If they don't take too much damage in the initial fight, they can still tank the Hunter's Fury. So Doma needs to get something done here or the round is going to fall apart. There's the Hunter's Fury popped. Doma knows now that they're both off the spike. He's being pushed down on and loses out the duel. Durka needs to peek wide. He's got 33 HP. No time and no life anymore because Mixwell's brought a big 4K into the last round of the half. It got that information to play with and Boaster in a sneaky position if Mystic fires off. Even if he doesn't, Boaster's going to catch them off guard. Good for one to start it off. Doma with another and they walk right by Mystic. But luckily it gets checked still by Evolva and another fallen player. It's Magnum all alone after Shock to work with here and he's going to pop it out. Evolva needs to move out of the way and he's got barely any time. Six seconds on the clock. Magnum is just running it down. No time anymore. He has to find the fight. He has to run after. And oh. in the corner. Magnum will just about get away with it. Eight to five, the last. A lot of teams where you almost feel like the after plant is the be all and end all. Versus Fnatic, you really have to be so strong in those after plant positions. There. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, the firing squad off the bat. And I, I, mean, I don't know how Durka survived as long as he did. One way to make weaker weapons work, but of course, Mixwell called it is clear. Doesn't know that anybody's lurking in the back lines, but they don't expect him to be as deep in the site as he is. It leaves seconds left to get that spike down, but the remaining two players shouldn't be able to do anything about it with the current spot. And Mixwell just blocking off, making sure there's no opportunity for them. On the Fnatic side, they're about to be pressured on B by the looks of it. Oh, they're about to be heavily pressured. Durka can't even get back out to the site. There's a perfect example of an orbital strike used to clear two corners and keep anybody from pushing out. It doesn't get a kill, but it's immensely valuable. And Boaster's quick rotation might end up costing him his life. Avova catches him coming out of astral form. And a man advantage now sits comfortably with the attackers. Nukia even managing to avoid being spotted by that drone. And so up on top, he will have an angle, although he doesn't manage to find the kill off the back of it. Uh, G2 need to make a decision on where they're going, and it looks like that spike is on its way towards the B site. But that's big oh, it's bait. bait. They've thrown it in. The teleport has been used, but they don't expect. Darker, oh, never mind! Over with the 180 headshot. That's the difference maker. You give Durka that first kill, and I, I'd bet anything I have that he would have got more than one. But the second he's cleared to be to be random. And indeed, as it gets hit at the orbital strike, it goes back to its blue color. And so does the kill feed. Magnum taking himself a quick double and punishing G2. They're on site, and they've got the spike planted. That red is going to be challenged right away, but it goes towards G2's favor. Evolva answering up onto Boaster, but now he's trapped and being hunted by the Spectres. He will be eliminated, and Mystic left in the 1v1 doesn't know that Nukia is so aggressive in holding that angle. And sadly, that could be a huge difference maker if it was. But Mixwell, look at this sneaking on in. Oh, he's going to actually catch off one, and now the Hunter's Fury has to be cancelled early, or no! In fact, it's going to be a free kill! Mixwell just charging forward! Oster wants to try and deny the plant, but he can't get it done. A two-man advantage for G2, plus post plants. Fnatic want this round, but it's just not possible anymore. Mystic pretty much has to save at this point. Surely, he doesn't go for this. 
Well, it looks like he's giving it a go. Already taking a play into the site. He's been held off at least by the snake bites for a second. Spotted at least three towards B. Toma. In a bit of trouble here on the long range duel with the sheriff. And Nick's well. He was almost in trouble himself. Manages to sneak away. Giving away the fact that there is still control here. And they're rotating. They're fully committed to this, Tom. And G2 love their mind games, but there's still two guys in position. Fnatic haven't been so... What? What was that? What? What? I mean, he can see him on radar, I guess, but that was disgusting. And now Magnum, go on, get him through the smoke as well, Mixwell. He's just having one of those rounds. He's tagged him up massively, and he just keeps on going, man. The wall protecting him from the flash. He's on for the ace, and he's got to get it done as well, Mixwell. Wow. And then versus a full buy, I cannot believe that he just ran out onto the site like that. They had flashed back site, so I guess he thought, oh, this player will be... Still see that Viper's Pit, of course, is being farmed up pretty much. Mystic spot, though. This could be... How does he know? <laughs> he just... He didn't even check anywhere else. Just swing straight out. Mixo oh again. God. He's just on fire. I think that's his 30th kill in this game. Dominating Last Fnatic. And now it's left Durka down to just 16 HP. A 1, 12 HP even. A 1 versus 5. This is done. Bind for the second time ever in Fnatic's history with this roster is going to be taken away by what is a brand new G2. And Mixwall to get right out in a default waiting for one of the Fnatic players to push forward. And I think Mystic, or Mixwall, excuse me, has spotted Phoenix in the corner. He definitely seems to have a decent idea. In fact, even just seeing a, a paranoia fly past Durka. Going to take the initial engagement, leaving Doma to try and fight back. But it's very calm and collected again. Just trading efficiently. Already utility just being spammed onto the site, trying to get as much as they can to block off this push from G2. And you know what? Magnum, he's going ham. He found three kills. Just quickly closing this as Mystic comes along. Because once again thrown out, this time Cordamenta manning that agent. Magnum in the corner, but he's left so unbelievably blind. The execution clearing most, if not all now, of the defenders. And while Durka, he, he just has to hold on to this, because you mentioned, like, okay. Send beat BDS, I presume. Yep. Yeah, smash them. <laughs> wow. Oh my god! Stop facing Nuki there! Stop facing him there! Gold and Menta about to put through the little tiger and it already made the magnum after the open. He was peeking to see what was going on. Doma domed through the door. The four versus two remains. G2. They've got some pretty impressive control right off the bat. Cold Dementa's flash covers the crossover. And that's not the ideal oh, time to no. take the astral form. Mystics all alone. His one shock dart he sold the other so he could buy this phantom. And well, he's being spotted as well, so the information there to play with for G2. Although he baits them out, and at least being able to take that back fight, they're too quick. I've had some of the slowest attacking sides that I've seen. And uh, again, very different look to this squad than what we'd seen before in any of the previous roster iterations. But Durka finding the opening, though. Fnatic have taken the lead, and it's time for G2 to play from behind for what feels like the first time. Oh. It only gets worse. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, that's a Durka peak. That's what we like to see. Already managing to find a, a, an important kill. And we've seen the Seeker's expended Boaster. He's been caught quite a few times. The utility in hand. Mixo seems to punish him every single time. Now the Hunter's Fury goes out. Trying to hunt down Nuki, who will pop his heels. The res even coming through to turn this back into a 4v4. What was looking strong might turn back. But Durka is attempting to do all this all on his own. Doma's ult is killed off. And still, an opportunity for G2. Another kill for Durka, putting four on the board of Vova. It was a big kill. That nano missed. It doesn't matter that it's missed because Mixwell swings on it. And as the Killjoy ult pops, Mystic is alone. A miracle round from G2. A Vova going huge to put them back in a spot where they can win it and put four on the board. Not going to yield any results as Kellogg's goes back for a heal. Heaven TP. Actually brought to completion. Evolva's up here. This kind of forces them off the side. The paranoia and the flashes that they have on Sky put them in a very awkward spot. Mystic's down. Kellogg's will reach. He didn't want to be down, but he <laughs> but he is. Couldn't quite make it all the way up. And uh, you know what, Dirk? It's 
Excuse me. It would go in the highlight reel if it landed, but not this time around, sadly. G2 have a man disadvantage on this retake. So despite the fact that it's been kind of a... It oh, seemed like a powerful start. Ratty. They're on the back foot. That wall leaving just a slight gap could be everything. <laughs> Never mind. God, a mentor just gets ball banged by Durka. No heroics this time. Bugs has already crossed. I think he has. Just opts to back out into the dark cover and not take too many risks here. Awaits for Boaster's support. Oh, here we go. That's one way to go about it. Cosmic Divide comes into play. Kellox tries to gain some ground, but he can't, and they're just waiting. Come on in, trickle in. The flash is in play. Doma out through it. Great work from him in this round. A shadow step up above has been spotted, and it doesn't actually get it and taken down. I, I don't know how, but it's Mystic in a 1v2. He's run on the side, taken one, and almost a second. But Nuke Gate closes six on the board for G2. Hey, but it's just confidence, man. And this is the thing. When you have a player who feels that kind of confidence, you can't sit back and say, oh, you made the wrong decision, so you died. You got to just do it if you're feeling it. Sometimes you got to you got to take it off of feeling and not logic. And right here, uh, we're seeing that from Evova, who's just gotten rezzed. He's back up in the round. I'm more worried about this lurk from Mixwell. Magnum seems to have the right idea, though. He's definitely heard him. If he can kill off this final man, look at the time. There's only 25 seconds left. Mixwell was the man making the plays in the last round. Now what do the rest of G2 do? They just have to go barreling into this site. The site where Fnatic are slowly swarming in. Magnum looking to do it all on his own as he spams through that smoke. But a buffer comes back quickly with two. He made it believable at least for a second. I'm going to put the lines between them down to a hair with and boaster a little bit of trouble there he could have gotten some damage but the squids provide the cover and the plant not going to go in all the way actually they've had to back out and here comes the blade storm from durka in for one and up above deterring any further mid push what was former oh magnum he just got caught with the knife out but it looks like he's good to go and navova isn't anymore down to a 2v4 and the advantage sits comfortably with Fnatic even after that one on their side and here we go with a straight out push onto the site fully blinded up kellogg's one knife left oh evolve has stolen it away that means the blade storm's gone but he's managed to get a phantom for his troubles and with the plant coming in that's a heavy advantage lockdown post plant oh that doesn't look good for fanatic but with that kill they've taken up the pace never mind i was gonna say they might be able to get there before it's popped but they won't and then time is their biggest enemy oh well, that's one way for it to go. Uh, if you well, can get up on it, of course. Oh, wow. Come on. Makes well getting <laughs> charged on Kellogg's. That was a low blow. Oh, not able to get too much done. And then this is looking like it's going to be Fnatic with the pistol yet again, rolling in it. But Evolve is still alive. And he's creeping up behind them. He's got the timing. No one's checking it. Here we go. They come back and no one looks that way either, Evolve. Luckily, he's only able to get away with the one kill, leaving Colamenta down to do it all. I think he'd have to basically double his kills in this round alone if he was going to take this pistol home. I can't say I'm much of a believer in that, and it will be again. And as Magnum comes up behind, it looks like he'll get the timing and get the free kill, but the trade is there immediately. Evolva looking too clean with that Sheriff in play. The man advantage sits in G2's favor even still, and now Evolva's got a weapon to play with, and you do not want to face him when that's the case. Target out. A push. About to come back in. An advantage available. Doma quickly diminishes it down. In fact, he's got Boaster alongside him. It's left to Mixwell. Tanked a little bit, but two players to find and not a lot of time to do it. Retrieves the Spectre at least and might be able to isolate the duel. But at the start of the round. And the smoke up top stops Evolva from harassing, oh, but he no, still gets one done. That's literally <laughs> meant to stop him doing that. And he still gets one from around the edge. The flash is good, but the back side, oh! It wasn't checked for a second, but Doma still walks away with one and info. That's pretty huge at this point. They haven't committed to the site, though. Yeah, we've actually seen the Seekers thrown out, so that will at least 
Gain a little bit of extra info. So will the Tiger as it stuns up Magnum and Above has got another one to add to his tally. A spray down of four now, leaving just Mystic alive and sure it will be stolen away by Nuka goes through. The defender Killjoy ult, but so does Domer. He's going to push through the edge and actually wins that battle versus Cold Amenta. One comes up for free. And now Avova <gasps> looking a little bit sneaky. New key though, he gets two. That's huge. That's the spike dropped. They're just rotating in to hold this position. Nuke, he even wants to go in there. He, there was a player detained close, but he doesn't jump through the garage, not taking absolutely any risks at this point. Just waiting for them to come to him, and although he'll fall in the end, okay. he's put his team in a damn good position to win this. A 3k from Nukie, and a 1 versus 2 Magnum, though. He's up against an Operator. Look how low Kellogg's is. That wallbang very nearly takes him out. And with the spike retrieved, he's going to the site. 10 seconds left. The plant will be hard to come by, but if he can tuck it away, he might just get it. And indeed he will. Kellogg's on 10 health, very conscious of overpeaking any, into any sort of angle. Even a wallbang will take him down. Look at the patience. But while he waits and hopes that Magnum overpeaks, Magnum's got himself tucked away all the way down on C long. He'll wait for the sound cue and swing, and it seems next to impossible that he loses this. Kellogg's will have to be so quick in hitting this shot. He knows now that player is on long, and he's actually going to try and defuse it with such low HP. No way. Another cloud burst down, and he's... No! That was so close! And it looks like the response from G2 is instantly to fight for short. They're grouped up as two, but they lose the first, and Cold Amenta manages to trade it out. He takes Magnum, destroys the ult of Phoenix, then destroys Phoenix, and this is now doable for G2. They have a flank on Sage. Sage needs to survive here to get the res in, but it doesn't look like she will. Boaster is waiting for it this whole time. No, Sage has managed to sneak down onto short. How has this happened? Nuke is there, getting the kill, walling up, and popping a res. It's a 2v1. Boaster's behind, but Nuke suspects it at this point. Imagining a player will have fallen. Oh, Mixwell. Oh, Mixwell. Oh, that was almost an NA play there. And now you're in trouble, Boaster. There's the first. A fight versus Nuke, not an easy one. V1 to win by any stretch of the imagination. Very close to C. I think Fnatic realized that they've missed the window in getting in, but that right there is an opportunity. Kellogg's taken down. The squid's on their way. And Boaster can't really do much to destroy them, so they get the information of the closest. Whoa, that was a running headshot! He actually connected it on a Cold Amenta, who is now super low on HP. That was, that was massive. He got healed up by Sage, but that... I mean, if that's a Vandal, he's getting a kill there. Although, running and gunning with a Vandal ain't quite as easy as with a Phantom. Yeah, the problem is, slightly weaker weaponry for Mixwell, and that headshot doesn't actually garner a kill. It leaves them into a 4 versus 3. Fnatic in the driver's seat once again. After plants available, but Avoba, he's already picked off one, and as they peek, the flash will blind another. Still, it's left all onto Nuki. We know what he could do in these scenarios, but he can't close out Durka this time. Fnatic edge ever closer. Three consecutive rounds is definitely doable, but uh, not very G. Oh my god, Kellogg's. <laughs> what just happened? They recover that fumble, but I don't. How did he hit two shots that quickly? Oh no! Oh no! In the corner, Mixwell's like got that. two! It's all down to Mystic! The shock dart is good for damage, but not a kill! Another on its way, but I think it will meet the same fate. In fact, completely avoided. Plenty of time on the clock, but Mystic doesn't oh, know where this other player is. And indeed, Evolva's tucked in, watching for the push-up. The second he gets contact, that's when Mixwell swings. But Mystic realizes something's up. That player isn't just hiding in the corner for no reason. He's on his way to second mid to see what's going on. Evolva's ready, though. Flicking over just in time. And 10 on the board. Really rotating in just yet, but... You can see Nuki starting to prod and poke as Kellogg starts to push down mid. He's going to walk straight into Durka. A freebie as such, but the trades have come in elsewhere, leaving this B site open for Fnatic to get the plot. Oh, or so you would think. Mixwell quickly pouncing onto Durka. And Nevova's on the flank. Oh, He's moving around. This plant isn't going to be for him, though. He can't deny it. But he can get pretty close to them oh. and catch Mystic afterwards, Five potentially. Seconds. Mystic wisely going into the corner. Yeah. Nevova's just going to wait for Nuke. Oh, he jumped. I, I don't think I don't think he meant to jump, but he did. And Mystic's heard it. Mystic knows that Nevova's here. Uh, I'm not quite sure why he did that. And now on the way through, he's going to be in a little bit of trouble. Nuke 
Wants to try and help this one out, but if Ova wins the fight anyway, Smoke's gonna go down and Doma on the way gets spotted by Nuke. It's 11 to 11 on the second map with G2 pretty much positioned. have been a plan. It, it looked like a retake, but it turns out, well, they, they were retaking against nothing. Left. They've held onto the site, but the realization has come in that, okay, they're now gonna plant on the other side, and well, they don't have that lockdown anymore. They can't force them back. Instead, they'll go pushing through Cold Amenta. He's already gonna manage one, but the pistol of Boaster, he's doing so much work with this frenzy. He's even going back for more, and he's gonna get his third kill of the round. The dink onto Nuki gives a good opportunity. <gasps> the now the res is about to be used, but Mystic catches the timing. And now it's left into the one versus one. Mixwell <gasps> is gonna use the turret, oh, but it's no. actually been dodged just about avoided! And Mixwell will hold on! A thrifty round if an icebox being the decider if we get there. Once again, they heard the turret. It's been spotted out. And already, Dirk are looking to try and make his move, get that entry. We know he can find normally, but Nuki is already gonna take him down. The plan to come in. The man disadvantage, the res, the seekers, the blade storm. So much to work with for G2, and it's all going to be used here. Can't take it with you into overtime. The running back is what concerns me the most. Uh, using it at this point is very risky. They don't have enough map control to really do so, and now they've popped it. Magnum needs to hold on to control, or else they're going to be in trouble because as he comes back through, Kellogg's just going to take him down. But what is that? What Magnum manages to clock himself a 3k. It won't be enough. But that was with a, 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 a spec. But he's able to post up his elbow spotted as he moves back to long. They know exactly where he is. The updraft from Kellogg's. The dash back just about keeps him alive. Dirk is still good for another. And with Mystic answering up, it looks like this round is going to fin When they were in summon. Kellogg's a good spot though. And the man alongside him. Well, we saw what he did in the first map. Oh, well, you're seeing what he does in the start of this round as well. Cole Dementa even gets that kill with the Odin. He's playing under heaven, long-range dueling with an Odin. What is going on? This is not This is not how you play Valorant. Kellogg's has got another is and Fnatic now. are on it. Look at this. He's just, he's just taking duels with it. What? Out he goes with the wolf baiting for his team as they swing to this. I guess back in the day, pe people used to never play Jet. They used to play Rays with the operators. So maybe this is like, we'll be someday we'll be like, I remember we used to buy Phantoms and Vandals, but now, now it's all about the Odin. Risk taken by Kellogg's, trying to peek through the blaze to find out what's on the other side. I'm also wary the position of Magnum. Like he's he's being a bit sneaky through the seaside. With players rotating, he could be the bane of their lives once again. Mixo, he's, he's just going to allow that. Okay, you know I'm here, but what are you going to do about it? How are you going to clear me off and of over again? He's reading the situation correctly. Not allowing for that swing, but he's going to be pressured. Even pre-fires on Tobosa. The instant headshot and the time ticks away. Avova is having a phenomenal map as he pulls off almost a solo site defense to think to do with the a side in fact they're already planting on b yeah this is the same execution oh. we've seen from them a multitude of times but there was so much utility this is how they counted it before bolster putting out the stun holding them back and they've killed off the planter now cold amenta i said he'd be mad to pull this out on the attack but he's looking to try and spam through those smokes this is the plan all along deny them getting that defusal tom he dashed into the drone He's actually died because of a drone, essentially. Anyways, we'll talk about it after. It's a 3v3 and the Odin. Here, Here it comes. Go. Double kill from Coldamenta and Mystic Soul alone with 5 HP. Can it be the 3k for the Odin? It doesn't really matter because it is the round. And the idea is I'll plant and I'll dash off site. And I was wondering why he stopped because he dashed and it just froze and i watched it back on the stream and i'm not i said i'd call him a madman if he did it on the attack well he did and he made it work with <laughs> a very well set plan and now they have the chance to finish this mix while he's gonna peek through and that could be it a quick double to open up this round he's been a bit quieter on this map that's for sure but those two kills could make the difference he will eventually be traded out though Bolster has found one back in response. The heals will come through for Kellogg to give him a little bit extra in this fight.
After plant looking inevitable, but they're playing patient. They're waiting. The spike yet to go down. And here comes oh, that here he comes. big green <laughs> gun. Not quite in the Counter Strike meaning, but instead it's the Odin. He's not shooting toy bullets though. The flash about to come around the corner. His team primed to rush out onto the site. The shock darts to delay them. And here we go. Cold Dementa taken down, but Kellogg's answers back. Mystic trying to hold on to control. No. We'll get another now dancing around the back of the site, but Nukia is too quick. That is it. 16 to 